decision to, to come back? How, how did that how did that work out? And, and what was the, the main thing you were thinking? Uh, the main thing I was thinking about uh, is winning the Pac-12 championship, to be honest, uh, finishing school. Um, another year with the guys, you know, could come out here, get better, you know, did, I did love winning, you know, the Las Vegas Bowl and going 10 and three, but a lot more on the table that we can do and um, finish my education and, you know, improve my draft stock. So I think there's a lot of positives coming back and excited to be here. What was the feedback from the NFL in terms of how ready you were? Um, I got, I got some decent grades. Um, I got some good uh, feedback coming back. I definitely think I would have been drafted or I went out, but um Always things to improve on, small things. Uh, with every scout, you know, there'll some guys, some scouts like you, some scouts don't like you. Uh, I'll take their criticism and, you know, improve for next year. Well, part of the issue, though, is do you really want to come back to school for another year? I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I graduate next term, so I'll be okay. I'll be I mean, okay. But, I mean, is, is that part of it? Just do you really want to come? You've been here for, what, five This is my fifth, fifth yeah. spring bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely feel old. Every time the young guys ask me, oh, what year you graduated? I said 2018. I said, damn. I said, okay. All right. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, it's good. You know, just one more term, two more weeks, and then we have finals, and then one more term. I graduate in the spring. So I, I could I could deal with it for another year. What do you have to what, – what do you have to improve on? <clears throat> um, uh, some, some scouts say, you know, stiff, out of the breaks, uh, limited in space, uh, more ball production, more picks. So, you know, just things that I can prove. I already know, you know, what I need to work on. So they just re reconfirmed it. Um, yeah, I would say, say that's really it. And then just testing. They want to see uh, game speed to actual, like, run to 40 and jumping and stuff like that. You're gonna, the, the team's going to turn to you as, as a leader. How do you how do you make that transition to, to be the guy that people are looking to? I mean, it's not, just, it's not something you can just – just say I'm a leader now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, I think I need to be more of a vocal leader. I think uh, over the years, guys have seen my story and, you know, just put your head down and work. I think I was more of a just leader by example, you know, just don't talk a lot, just do your work and uh, keep grinding. But m more more vocal leader for the younger guys that this is their first year, first time out here in spring ball, and they don't know how it's supposed to go. So, you know, just got to teach them up, um, like in the meeting rooms and out here. So yeah, more of a vocal leader for sure. How do you feel about the secondary room? Obviously, you guys were replacing three pretty big guys. You mostly five mm -hmm. guys played, but losing a big chunk. How do you think the young guys can kind of rise up in that room, so to speak? I definitely think the young guys could rise up. Uh, Skyler, uh, Bump, Noble, uh, Tyrese just got here. Uh, Jenna Robinson, not really a young guy, but you know, first time really playing. Uh, I definitely think we could fill the shoes. Um, they listen. They're hard workers, and they definitely have the talent to fill for the shoes. How do you keep the culture? You know, do you that you guys have built? I mean, one of the reasons you're back too is because you obviously don't hate it that bad. So, <laughs> um, how do you keep that with the young guys and, and keep perpetuating that in the future? Um, the young guys do a great job of really buying in. I think if you really don't buy in and really don't believe in the process, that you know you're not going to have the results that you want. So I think that young guys are seeing, especially when our first practices come out, like it's not going to be that easy and you really have to put in work. So I think once they practice a little more and, you know, season starts rolling around, they'll see how much work they really have to put in. And uh, I just want to make it easier for them to show them the road. Sort of piggybacking on those two questions, how smoothly do you see this transition sort of happening? Obviously, like you said, there's a good mix of, you know, veteran to, you know, young or players, but mm -hmm. you don't have that pretty much all veteran group out there this year. How yeah. do you expect that transition to go? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see about it. Uh, you know, even on offense, you know, you got new guys, uh, DJ and Aiden, you know, in the mix, and then Easton and John, John Miller, our middle linebackers, you know, they got to fill a big role, some new D linemen. So I'm excited to see, you know, how they want to step up. And, you know, when once they get their shot, you know, are they going to seize their opportunity? I think that we have a good enough mix to where the veterans could show you, you know, this is how we do things around here. Like maybe the playbook says it this way, but we want to play it this way. I think that the young guys are doing a good job of listening and uh, veterans are doing a good job of uh, leading the way.